The recipe for an NBA champion is simple. Great players, great coaches, situational or injury luck, and voila. Larry O'Brien trophy. Tasty. But let's take a closer look at the ingredients. Do you need that angry, stifling, brick wall, barbed wire, hand in your face defense to win a championship? If you look at the numbers since the advent of the three point line, every NBA champion averages out to have a top five defense. In fact, only two out of those last 35 NBA champs had regular season defensive ratings outside of the top 10. That includes the 2001 Lakers, who included Shaq, who ate himself out of shape before playing himself into shape, and suddenly they had the best defense in the playoffs, and those scrappy little Angelinos finally won something. Oh yeah, and another detail. If you take all 35 of those teams who have won the NBA championship since 1980, you also get a top five offense. And sure, sometimes you get a 94 Rockets team that's slow, not terrific at shooting, that's situational. The 2004 Pistons, who were basically playing four on five on offense, and rode a particularly angry team of defensive rhinos to the crown. But those are blips. Fast, bruising, fun, but a blip. The literal biggest trend is simple in this. Championship teams are big. 29 of the 35 teams to win since 1980 have had a Hall of Famer, or at the very least, a multiple time all-star on the block. It doesn't matter if you're sky hooking, up and undering, or even giving a little bit of a dream shake. No big, no crown. Congratulations on that flashy point guard. All he is is the exclamation point at the end of the sentence written by the large humans. But yes, the asterisk here is this. You can win without that guy, like the best modern dynasty did, but only if his airness is walking through that door. You wanna wait? I can wait. Back to where we started though. NBA champions really are like recipes. They require the simple notions of timing and ingredients. There really is no right way, so get comfortable. Hope you're hungry.